Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel, Alexandra here. I hope you guys are all doing well. So today I'm doing a skincare shelfie update. Um, it's been like four months since I've done my last one. I don't know how it's been that much time already, but it is. I have a huge, well, not huge, but a significant uh, refilled Walmart bag here with all my empties. Um, some of these empties you're gonna see at the end of the month in my um, empties videos for like the last two months. But quite a bit of this was from like the two months previous to that, if that makes sense. So I'm not gonna like put these in any particular order. I'm just gonna like pull them out and do like a mini speed review. There's a couple of like duplicates in here for things, but there always is. So let's just get into it. I have two sets of Neutrogena um, makeup wipes. I bought a giant thing from Costco a while ago, like maybe last year, which was a bad idea. And I know bad ideas. So that was really great. Um, these are terrible. They're thin, they're very dry. They're not great. Don't buy them. Somebody gave me this. This is the Equate, uh, I guess it's like, the knockoff version. It looks rather similar in uh, packaging to these. And uh, this was actually way better. These were really nice. Uh, when I was using these, I was like, wow, this is what a, no a normal wipe is actually supposed to be like. Um, these are thicker, softer, more saturated. They work a lot better. So these were nice. Don't look at my top from this. This is um, a toner from uh, fresh it is the rose deep hydration facial toner um, this is just a rose petals there was rose petals in the bottom that's what that brown thing is so don't think that it's like rot it's just a, a rose petal and they were always brown <laughs> so um, this was nice um, but I really I think the thing that I liked about it the most was the rose smell I really like roses so you know, but I would not repurchase this. It was like $50. I don't think you need to spend $50 on a toner. This is a peel, the Ultra Gentle Daily Peel by Dr. Dennis Gross. Um, this is quite nice. Uh, if you have like sensitive skin or you're like just getting into peels, you should probably go with the uh, gentle one first to try. I think it's nice. Um, I'm now using the like medium ones or whatever they're called. I don't remember what they're called, but the ones that are more like medium level so um it's nice it was it was nice there was five five treatments in here i have three mary Kay eye makeup removers if you follow me at all on this channel you see me talk about these all the time they're a holy grail for me um as you can see i really like them for removing eye makeup uh this has been cut open this is the say i love you dr brandt microdermabrasion age defying exfoliator it says it's limited edition um i've cut this open but uh they do have one it's not the limited edition one but they do have one in their regular line i love this i would definitely repurchase this um it's very expensive it's like over a hundred dollars but i think i want to try to get it at the next sephora sale so i love this would repurchase this is a glow recipe product this is the papaya sorbet enzyme cleansing balm uh, the packaging is beautiful. It's glass. It's very weighted. I love the color. However, I didn't really love this. I don't really like cleansing bombs. They're just not my favorite method of um, like makeup removal. So I don't really care for the green clean one either by um, pharmacy. It's nice, but my favorite makeup remover like is the... Um, Go off spray by Patrick Star. That's still my favorite. So this was okay, but I wouldn't repurchase this. This is another glow recipe product that I really, really enjoyed. It's the Pineapple Bright Serum. Super cute packaging. Again, they always do stunning packaging. Um, I love this, and unfortunately, you can't buy it anymore. I can't find it on the website or on Sephora's website either, which is really too bad because my skin really likes vitamin C, but this was really, really great. This is the another Neutrogena product, uh, Hydro Boost Gel Cream, Extra Dry Skin. Um, this is a um, this is a moisturizer. This was fine for like day, day use. I got it in a kit a couple of years ago. Uh, the packaging is plastic. It's just, it looks nice. It looks like it's trying to be like high-end, 
but it really just feels like a drugstore moisturizer in my opinion. Um, again, it's okay for the day for me, but I like something heavier and I have like probably on the oiler side of skin. Um, and I thought this wasn't really that heavy, so it, it's okay. I wouldn't repurchase. I have a couple of sheet masks, um, from this brand. It's called Glam Straight, I think. I'm not sure. Um, so one was like a full face, didn't really care for that. Um, I do like eye patch, under eye patch masks, sheet masks. Um, they were like the only two sheet masky things that I had left in my collection. So just wanted to get them out. Uh, I wouldn't repurchase either of these. So I'm glad they're done. This is a product that I really did enjoy. Um, so this is a Laneige product. It's called Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. These came in like little cotton pads things but when I further like look them up on Sephora they actually it actually comes in like a bottle where you just like pour it into your hands or whatever um this is super nice this is in my loves list now for Sephora um super super luxurious and lovely product um for day for nighttime I would use wouldn't use it for daytime but really nice I want to pick that up at the next Sephora sale this was just like a single travel makeup wipe remover that I got from like a hotel along my travels at some point um it's fine it was just hanging around i want to get it used up a lot of foil samples um in this uh skincare shelf update just because i want to always hit like 16 17 uh makeup empties a month so the last couple months are really were like i really needed to get that hit that number so i threw in a lot of samples over that time this is keel's ultra facial cream uh, it was fine, I think. I don't really remember anything about it, so I think it was fine. This is another single makeup remover wipe from a hotel. I don't remember anything about it. I'm sure it was fine. This is a fresh de rose deep hydration face cream. This is very luxurious. I've used this in the full size before. Um, it's quite nice. It does smell heavily like rose, but it feels very luxurious. Oh, look, another Mary Kay eye makeup remover. So that's four. This is a Fenty Skin The Fat Water. Uh, I like using this, it's a, it's a serum toner. I like using these for like my morning routine because they're very light and they absor absorb really, really well. Um, this is nice, I've already repurchased it and I have one that I'm using now. This is the Pharmacy Daily Greens um, Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer. This is just a sample. Um, it's nice. It's in my loves list. I want to buy a full size. also have like the super mini travel size or whatever sample of it in here as well. This is a Dior Capture Youth Serum. I made the mistake of using this one little pack in one application and it was way too much for my skin. I should have used it in like two or three, but my skin really did like it. And again, this feels like a very luxurious, um, well, it's your, uh, serum. So it's quite nice. I would maybe purchase the full size. Lots of fresh rose products in here. Um, so this is the fresh rose face mask sample, a uh, foil sample size. Um, it was okay. I wouldn't repurchase it just based off of this. Finally, this is the Honey Sweet Foaming, uh, Sweet Cleansing Foam. Um, I've had this in my like rotation of cleansers or whatever um, for probably a year or close to it. I didn't need a lot of this product to use on my face. I found it initially very drying and very stripping. I got this from Winners. It was really cheap. I think this is a Korean brand. I'm not really sure. Um, I would not repurchase this though. Uh, it wasn't my favorite. This is the Glossy. Um, it's like a moisturizer uh, primer. I use it as a moisturizer in the morning slash primer sometimes. Um, it's by Touch and Soul. I think this is a Korean brand. I didn't care for this, as you'll see in my favorites and flops for my seasonal favorites and flops um, for spring. I did not like this, uh, would not repurchase, glad it's done. Oh, here is the full size um, Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. Lots of like duplicates, like I said. Um, I used this up quite a while ago. I really do enjoy this. This is very heavy. It's great for evening. Um, it's nice, like I said, heavy scented and heavily um, moisturizing. Another full size uh, expensive face moisturizer. This is the CEO um, Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream by Sunday Riley. I have purchased this before in the past. Um, 
I like this product uh, for evening use. It's really nice. My skin, like I said, really enjoys vitamin C. So whenever I can incorporate that into my skincare routine, I try to. This is a Korean brand, I believe. It's Pore Glow Mask uh, by JJ Young, Brighten and Glow. This was really super old. This was from like an Ipsy bag back in the day and it had been hanging out for like years. Um, I got three uses out of this. This did literally nothing for my face. I wasn't impressed by it at all. It's fine, it's gone now, so that's nice. That's two products. So this one was really disappointing. Um, I'm sure I've used this before. This is the um, Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream by Youth to the People. Um, I had probably only had this in my collection for maybe a year or a year and a half. And when I opened this, it was like dried up or drying up. I'm pretty sure I've used this in the past and it was definitely not like this. It was more whipped. This was like, it had shrunk down to like half the size of the bot jar. So I was like, okay. And it felt almost waxy in texture. I don't remember it being like that. Um, so I still used it up. It didn't do anything weird to my skin, but I was like, how is this already like expired essentially? So I got this in a Sephora favors kit. Maybe it had been hanging out for a long time. I don't know how they cater things for those kits. Maybe they take things that are older and they just want to get rid of them. Who knows? Um, I wouldn't repurchase this just based off of this sample, but again, this was not a true, actual, I guess, representation of the product. The last product is a Tula Skincare. They now sell this at Sephora, this brand, and it is the Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. Yes, an eye cream. Finally, um, I've been working on this for like well over a year. I was using it in my daytime routine and I actually scraped out as much as I could. So there's some way at the bottom, like in there, but like I scraped out for sure everything in like the base. That's really exciting to get out a eye cream product. Uh, I probably have like three to four years worth of eye creams. I have way too many and you just need such a little amount that you're never gonna get through them all. So I'm really excited to get one done for the year. I'd like to get through another one but I don't know if that's gonna happen. So that's everything for my skincare shelfie. Uh, there was quite a lot here to go through. I don't think I want to let things go that long again because there was just so much to talk about. But um, if you've used any of these products, if you've loved any of these products or didn't like any of these products, let me know in the comments below. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.